So in the previous video, we managed to get a good amount of progress on our Tory gate. The next thing we are going to do is to add these external columns here. So let's first create the singular columns by creating a cylinder and scale it around until we get a nice shape for our smaller columns. And I'm also just going to go into orthographic view again, just so I can see that it matches up with the other column. Let's again try our mirror modifier technique. Mirror modifier on the Y axis for this smaller column here, and then object, apply, and all transforms. Let's now make the little roof that sits on the top. Create a cube to sit on the top of the column. Again, going into orthographic top view to see what we're doing. And now, go into edit mode, take the top face here and then set it with the I key and move this up. I'm also going to create a loop cut in the middle of the shape here and just move that down a little bit to give the roof a more pagoda look. I'm also just going to select the edges around the corners here and scale up a little bit. And I'm just going to move this up a bit and then select the face at the bottom here and scale that inwards. I'll also make another loop cut in the middle here and scale that a bit. I'm also going to apply the mirror modifier on the X axis for these objects. I need to do the same for this. Mirror modifier, X and Y, and apply all transforms. This is just so we get the columns for the back here as well. Similar to our columns here, I'm just going to make these smaller columns a little bit thinner at the top. So I'm just going to make four loop cuts again. I'm going to select the top most edges here turn on proportional editing mode and just scaling a little bit and of course we need to adjust our little roof here before we continue let's just make another save backup of our Tory gate and call it Tory gate 04 So now let's create the beams which link these columns together. I'm just going to select our beam here, Control C, Control V to duplicate this. And I'm just going to rotate this on the Z axis by 90 degrees and then move this down into position. As you can see, they come out a little bit at the ends here. So we just want to replicate that look. something like that and let's just create the second beam that sits at the bottom here and then use a mirror modifier on these and then apply all the transforms
Now we are going to spend a little bit of time creating the sloped roofs right here that sit on the edges, similar to what we did up here. So I'm just going to grab the shapes we did here before. Control C, Control V. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to remove the mirror modifier and then set the origin to the geometry for now. And then just rotate these accordingly until you get them into the positions that we need them. And I'm just going to shift select those ones I've made, control C and control V, move them down this way, and then rotate on the Z axis by 180 degrees. This is a bit of a quicker way to get them over here as well. And again, similar to what we've been doing, let's apply the mirror modifier. Or a second way we can do it is just to take all these shapes we've made and duplicate all of them and then move them across on the Y axis. It's probably a little bit quicker to do it that way than doing the mirror modifier on every single one. Before we move on, let's save our mesh again. File, save as, Torygate 05. As mentioned before, in this tutorial video we will not be creating the shape here with the letters as this may require a bit of Photoshop work to get the texture just right here. Although you are more than welcome to do that on your own after these tutorial videos. In the next video we are going to do a bit more perfecting to this 3D model 